In 2026, the American MIM-104 Patriot Missile Defense System stands as one of the most recognizable and enduring symbols of modern air defense. For over four decades, the Patriot has protected U.S. forces and allied nations against enemy aircraft, ballistic missiles, and cruise missiles. But in 2026, it is no longer the same system that first entered service in the 1980s. It has been transformed, modernized, and integrated into a global defense architecture that reflects the reflects the challenges of today's rapidly evolving battlefield. The Patriot system was originally designed to intercept enemy aircraft at medium range. Its very name, Phased Array Tracking, radar to intercept on target, reflects its core strength, a powerful radar system capable of tracking multiple targets simultaneously. Over time, the mission expanded. The system grew into one of the first Western solutions to intercept short and medium-range ballistic missiles. By the Gulf War of 1991, the Patriot became famous worldwide when it was deployed to defend against Iraqi Scud missiles. While early results were mixed, the conflict showed the promise of a missile defense shield sparking decades of investment and innovation. Fast forward to 2026. The Patriot PAC-3 configuration now forms the backbone of integrated air and missile defense for the U.S. Army and more than a dozen allied nations. What makes it different today is not just its missile interceptors, but the sophisticated network in which it operates. The system uses an advanced radar array with active electronically scanned technology, extending its detection range and allowing it to handle threats from multiple directions simultaneously. This means that in 2026, a Patriot battery can track stealth aircraft, maneuvering hypersonic glide vehicles and advanced cruise missiles. All at once dot at the heart of the Patriot's modernization is the PAC-3 Missile Segment Enhancement Interceptor. This missile is smaller than the original PAC-2, but far more advanced. Instead of relying on proximity explosions, it uses a hit-to-kill approach, destroying enemy missiles with direct kinetic energy. Each launcher can now carry up to 16 PAC-3 MSE interceptors giving commanders a far greater number of shots against incoming threats. In combat scenarios, this means a higher probability of success and a stronger deterrent effect. Another key upgrade is the radar system. The latest radar, known as the Lower Tier Air and Missile Defense Sensor, or LTAMDS, provides 360-degree coverage. Unlike earlier Patriot radars that had blind spots, LTAMDS can see in all directions simultaneously. This is critical in a modern battlefield where drones, missiles, and aircraft can strike from unexpected angles. The radar is also built with digital architecture, meaning it can be updated and improved over time, ensuring the system stays relevant against new threats. But perhaps the most important change in 2026 is how the Patriot connects with other systems. Instead of operating as a standalone battery, the Patriot is now integrated into the broader Integrated Air and Missile Defense Battle Command System, or IBCS. Through IBCS, information from satellites, Aegis destroyers at sea, and other radars. On land can all be fused together. This creates a single shared picture of the battlefield. In practice, this means a Patriot battery can launch its interceptors against a target detected by a completely different sensor hundreds of miles away. This level of networking ensures that no single point of failure can blind the defense. 2026 Patriot is not only a U.S. system, it has become a global shield. Nations such as Germany, Japan, Poland, South Korea and the Netherlands all operate Patriot batteries and many of them are upgrading to the latest PAC-3 MSE standard. In Europe, 
The system is a key part of NATO's layered defense against potential missile attacks. In Asia, it provides reassurance against the growing missile arsenals of North Korea and China. The presence of Patriot batteries has become a visible symbol of deterrence, signaling that an attack would not go unanswered. Dot, of course, no system is perfect. The Patriot is expensive, with each PAC 3MSE interceptor costing millions of dollars. Against cheap drones or mass barrages of missiles, this can create a cost imbalance. Adversaries are increasingly experimenting with swarming tactics designed to overwhelm defenses. To counter this, the Patriot is often paired with lower tier. Systems like the NASAMS or Israel's Iron Dome, which can handle less expensive threats. The future battlefield will demand a mix of high-end interceptors for ballistic missiles and cost-effective solutions for smaller targets. Still, the Patriot remains the centerpiece of layered defense. Its reputation has been reinforced by real-world combat. In recent years, Patriot batteries have successfully intercepted ballistic missiles in conflict zones, proving their value under fire. These combat records build confidence in allies and serve as a reminder that, even in the missile age, defense is possible. Dot. As we look at the Patriot in 2026, it is clear that the system is more than just a weapon. It is a political tool, a symbol of alliance commitments and a technological marvel that has adapted for over 40 years. While new threats like hypersonic weapons continue to challenge defenders, the Patriot shows that adaptation and innovation can keep pace with offense. The MIM-104 Patriot started as a Cold War era air defense system. Today it is a globally deployed missile shield at the heart of 21st century warfare. Its evolution tells a story of persistence, ingenuity, and the constant race between attack and defense. In 2026, the Patriot remains on the front lines watching the skies, ready to intercept. The Threats of Tomorrow